In this video, we will discuss Civil 3D workspaces. Civil 3D ships with predefined workspaces that help you use Civil 3D more effectively. To switch between workspaces, navigate to the Workspace Switching icon in the lower right part of the AutoCAD Civil 3D application window. There are four workspaces that ship with Civil 3D. You have Civil 3D, which of course will contain all the most commonly used Civil 3D tools. You have Drafting, Annotation, and 3D Modeling, which are the standard AutoCAD workspaces. And lastly, you have Planning Analysis, which is basically the Map 3D functionality in Civil 3D. If you're not familiar with workspaces, a workspace is a stored configuration of interface components. In other words, where your tool space is, what ribbon tabs you have open, where your command line is located, where the properties palette is, the tool palettes, etc. It is recommended to start out with the Civil 3D workspace and then do a save current as. Then give it a name, something like your initials dash C3D or something like that, and then click save. This way, if you make any changes to the workspace, and somehow they get lost or something messes up, you can always revert back to the original Civil 3D workspace and not have to worry about reinstalling Civil 3D. One of the other things to note is your workspace settings. Let's click on the workspace switching icon and navigate to the workspace settings location. By default, do not save changes to workspace is switched on. You want to make sure you set this to automatically save workspace changes. That way, if you let's say you move a tool palette around, or add a toolbar to your interface. If you have this set to do not save changes, your changes will not be saved and Civil 3D will revert back to the original workspace. Setting it to automatically save workspace changes guarantees that your changes will be made as you make them. 